Hello everyone and welcome again to another video. Here we go everyone. Finally, we are going to be looking at BT22 Critical Blow. It has been a long time coming. I do apologize once again for not getting through this uh, as quick as I should have. But hey, all the cards are officially out now. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick look at the trailer first and then from there we'll jump onto Facebook. And with that said guys, let's get into the video. Alrighty, everyone, here we go. Let's see what the trailer has to offer us. Now that your power has been charged to the limit, unleash Ooh, a yeah. furious Gohan attack. Beast is pretty hyped. Dragon Ball Super Card Game Zenkai Series Extra Critical Blow. Extra? Okay. The new Zenkai cards are here. Yeah, the new they extra are cards. Zenkai Extra. Yeah. It's a great addition, like to be honest. Zenkai deck and Zenkai battle cards, Zenkai extras are played by paying Zenkai energy. Yep, yep, yep. They have a greater impact than standard extras. They actually do, to be honest. Quite powerful, quite powerful. It definitely adds a new dynamic to the game. Which, like I said, we've been waiting for, right? It's somewhat of a new mechanic, somewhat. Oh, yeah. Salmex. Yeah, all from the movie. Genemba there we go. Transform. Fusion Reborn. Beautiful. Janempa. Gogeta. Forward. Goku and Vegeta. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Like I said, guys, I'm definitely Gogeta. gonna be building this. Oh, he looks so beautiful. Definitely gonna be building that deck. Ah, oh, Baba. Yeah. I'm actually gonna be building this deck, too. It's gonna be a fun deck to build, I reckon. Oh, that's funny. Oh, Kid Goku. <laughs> That's classic DB. Fu. Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Interesting. No Interesting mix. Oh, yeah. Here we go. The legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Back to DBZ. Love it. That's a pretty hype deck to be building, I would assume, for a lot of people out there uh, playing the Masters game at the moment. Yeah, it's definitely a biggie. Zenkai Series Set 5 will also include loads of new Zenkai cards. Oh, yeah. Another heated battle is awesome. about to unfold. Loving it. There are 274 card types in all. That's quite a lot. Cards that recreate yeah. tons of famous scenes from Dragon Ball history. That's great. There are three secret rares. Yeah. And a god rare descends from on high. Yep. Shining well, we're not surprised about this, right? We knew that the hard rares are going to be coming out. Each yeah. Box will an SR or SPR card yep. As a box topper. Sweet. Look for the simultaneously released premium pack set as well. This bargain of a set includes four Zenkai Series Set 5 packs and two PR cards. And don't miss the pre-release. Mm. Get a so much Yeah, I'll be going to my local pre-release. I may get a card. box or two and possibly just the open it up and see how it goes. But I've already Dragon bought Super six boxes from Zenkai, Zenkai Games Series and Manga here in New Zealand. So I'm looking forward to that. So mine quite a bit, but that's just because I'm building quite a few decks. But anyway, let's now move on to Facebook and see the cards officially. Alrighty, everyone, here we are. We are now on the Facebook page, and this was the, I think this was the first official card that was released that kind of gave us an indicator that Sal Max was going to be in the set. So the first card is the Z Extra card. I think it was, right? Yeah, uh, I think this was as well included, but who cares about that? So yeah, Z Extra cards are a new mechanic now included in this game. I'm really looking forward to it. You can see, for example, here, Activate Battle, 15k, Double Strike. I mean, geez, this is like a Game Ender kind of card i would assume but love it love it love the new dynamic now included really looking forward to this so yeah there is the leader card as you can see cell max devouring so that's the gold stamp and the standard version so very nice love it love it love it and then this is a hype deck that i'll be building i mean it's hype just because I, I love vegeto so it is the black vegeto and I'm really looking forward to this. This is from the starter deck, so I'm going to have to buy a starter deck and try and build around it using the cards that are in the deck itself and trying to see what else I can include from outside of the starter deck. So, yeah, looking forward to that. So here is another Z Extra card that in is incorporated with this deck. So plus 10,000 power for the battle. Oh, it's all right. Somewhat. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. It's not really that big compared to, like, that Salmax Z Extra card that we saw. 
So yeah, there is the leader front, standard stuff. And then this is another hype deck that I think a lot of people are going to be building. It is the Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan Broly from Dragon Ball Z. And that is an absolutely beautiful leader back of Broly, I have to say. I wish they did that for like other cards. I don't know why they haven't. But damn, that is a boss-looking leader card. Um, Paragus, the strategist. So of course Broly, you know how it is with Paragus and Broly. They're always like a duo, right? He controls his son. The crazy legendary Super Saiyan. <laughs> um, ooh, if you have two or more energy and you have a skillless battle. Ooh, Broly. Okay, I'm not, I'm not really a fan of using skillless cards because they're essentially like vanilla cards. You just play them. They have no effects, and they just so you swing with them, basically. They're just like pawns, if you want to think of them like that. Not really a fan of those, uh, but hey, it is what it is. I guess that's how Bandai wants you to incorporate the skillless battle cards. Fair enough. Okay, Bio Broly out of control monster. Ooh, nice. That's from the movie as well. Yeah, that's from the bio. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Uh, what else do we have? We've got Super Saiyan Broly Tenacious Onslaught. That is a banger. That's a monster card right there. So Double Strike, X Evolve. Jeez. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a monster card. That will be hard to deal with somewhat. I wouldn't think so, actually. No, it's pretty easy to get rid of, but still, you have to deal with it. Z Awaken. This is another boss looking card. Um, during a battle in which your Broly card is attacking a battle card, your opponent can't attack, counter. Ooh, can't activate. Okay, that's a bit of a nuisance. So, have to find a way to get rid of that. Uh, I'm not sure how you can. You can't really, so you're going to have to just out combo it, unfortunately, unless you get rid of the battle card. Damn. That is a nuisance. That is definitely a nuisance. The thing is with green decks, usually, they're very strong against blue decks. Blue's all about hand control, uh, green decks are all about hand destruction. So, for me, particularly loving. Like, I love playing blue, so I like to hold my cards in hand. I like to control. As for them, they like to, you know, green deck, they like to destroy. So hand destruction is essentially what cripples blue decks. So trying to figure out a way to stop that is definitely difficult. But, hey, it's all part of the game. You know, Bandai have created these different colored decks for a reason. It's all about finding that right balance, I guess. This is a definite banger leader that I'm going to be building. So it is this Sun Gohan and Sun Goten, the brothers, aka the Go Bros. And I'm really looking forward to this. Never played green before. Like I said, this will be my very first green deck that I will be building. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Critical plus 10,000 power. That's all right. Still decent as well. Loving it. I just, like I said, the Z extra card mechanic is just a great addition. A way to just pretty much end your opponent or just adds a new dynamic to add more pressure, I would say, to your opponent. So there is Sun Goten. He is the leader front. Some more cards there. This is just from Gen Con. I think you could, I think you could win this, or you get it as part of going to Gen Con or something like that. I'm not sure. But some more cards there. Loving it. This is oh Krillin and Yamcha Turtle School Expert. So this is pretty much from Duel of the Z Legend. So it's the Turtle School leader, and th these are just pretty much support cards for it. So that's good. What else do we have? Another Master Roshi Turtle School Patriarch. So that's another support card for it. What else do we have? Ooh, Beast Gohan. So now we have Beast Gohan as part of the red deck. This was somewhat hyped as well. I'm not going to be building the deck, unfortunately. Uh, I may do. I actually might not, to be honest. Uh, I'm not really interested in this deck. I'm not really a fan of red, to be honest. The only certain red decks I have, it is the Sun Goku Sake of the... For the sake of his family, or for the sake of family, and the Vegeta Red, uh, as you can see there in the screenshots. Those are the only two red decks that I was ever interested in building. Nothing else, really. But, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be building, like I said, those GoBro. The GoBros, the Vegito, and the Gogeta Blue. Oh, my gosh. We'll see that very soon. So, there is the Z Awaken. Somewhat decent. The Special Beam Cannon Inherited Power. That is, I think, one of... Yeah, that's a that's a strong card. That is definitely strong. 15k power and double strike. And choose up to one of your Red Sun Gohan. So this is pretty much, like I said, a game ender. Similar to Sal Max's Z extra card. Very similar. Deflect. Okay, pretty standard stuff. So these are the new prizes, I assume. Yeah, prizes. That's a beautiful... Wow. That's all gold. I think that's all metal, right? I assume that's metal. Dr. Hido... Or Hedo, or Hido, or however you want to pronounce him. Admiration for Heroes. Of course, we're going back to superheroes as part of the movie. This is, uh, I guess, somewhat of a hype deck as well. Nice. Love it, love it, love it. I'm not really interested in this deck, to be honest. Got some Salmax there. Magenta. 
Gamma 2, Gamma 1, yada, yada, yada. Oh, and here are the big, big SPR bangers. SS Broly Tenacious Onslaught. This is a monster card. Wow. Double strike, 35k. Definitely a nuisance. So, you know, when you Z Awaken and you have this on board and I can't counter it, I need to find a way to get rid of it. So that is definitely a nuisance. But it's, it's not that difficult to get rid of. But you just have to be wary of how you use your resources when you play the game. Uh, we got... Ooh, okay, that's a beautiful SPR. Love that. Wow, that is a banger SPR. All from the movie, I would say. It looks like they've depicted a lot of the pictures from the movie, I would think. Um, a lot of these cards are from movies. Oh, yo, yo! That is an absolutely banger of a scene. I remember this so well. When Goku comes temporarily. The Dragon Ball is being called out when Trunks, I think, said, I wish you were... I think he wished for something. I can't remember what happened. And then somehow Goku comes temporarily. And then, you know, Broly's like, Kakarot. You know how he is, right? <laughs> um, here we have Son Gohan Beast Roar. An absolutely beautiful SPR there. So 30k, dual attack. Uh, you get to KO a card, I think. Yeah, it gets to minus 30,000 30, power for the turn. As long as it doesn't have barrier. When your opponent activates a counter skill, choose up to one of your opponent's leaders. Ooh, okay, okay. That's fair enough. Oh, that's if you have a um, inherit. Okay, that's if you have that Z extra card. You can use that. Okay, that's fine. When this card is played. Oh, we've already seen that. We've seen these already. What am I doing? <laughs> we've seen these already. Keep going, keep going. But they look beautiful. Oh, here we go. The first SCR that was unveiled. So this is the Bursting Rage. Kind of an odd, to be honest, picture a card i mean bursting rage I, I guess it makes sense for gohan i think a lot of people were expecting a gohan god rare right draw one card choose up to one of your leader cards blah 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 z deck twenty thousand power or less then choose up to one of your leader cards it gets plus twenty thousand power for the battle okay i would for the turn would have been better but additionally if your leader z leader oh they can't attack with unisons or battle cards twenty five thousand power or more somewhat of a floodgate but it's a pretty average secret rare the art looks sick though art looks sick but Pretty average. Okay, what else? Ah, yes, we got the yellow Goku. Sun Goku from Dragon Ball. That is an absolute beautiful card as well. I don't know if I'll be building this, but definitely love the card zone. Mercenary Tao. There's Sun Goku and Corrin. Martial Discipline. Uh, is it Upa or Appa? I remember. Yeah, damn. Good times. Good times from that series. Shenron, Wish Dragon. Mercenary Tao. Sacred Water. Oh, yeah. This brings back so many memories. So many memories. Goku's Kamehameha. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, here we go. So, remove this card from the game. Choose one of your cards with Son Goku and its character name, and it gets plus 10 in power and critical for the battle. Wow. When this card is played, choose all your battle cards with Son Goku and the character, and those cards get plus five. Oh, my gosh. So, if you literally just run a bunch of Gokus, they all get 5,000 power added. That is a crazy Z extra card for yellow, especially if you're playing Goku. Um, wow, yeah, that's a banger. Of course, there is the promo, I guess, or the art for Critical Blow. Fortune Teller Baba, Baba's Palace. So this is just another field card, like I said, that's just pretty much utilizing field cards now. This, yeah, like I said, uh, I think I might definitely build this. So Fortune Teller Baba and Sun Gohan, this is a funny deck to build. It's more of a fun deck, nothing crazy, you know. It's all for the fun, but I definitely might build it because it is a pretty interesting deck, to be honest. So looking forward to that. Um, got Sun Gohan and Higher Dragon, a place for a friend. I don't know why they don't call him Icarus, because he is Icarus. Just I don't really get the Higher Dragon. Anyway, moving on, we got Fu's Laboratory. So we got Fu now as a leader, as part of Super Dragon Ball Heroes, as we all know from Prison Planet Saga. So Cumber obviously was initially noted from Fighter's Ambition. Now we've got Fu in Critical Blow. So looking forward to this, to be honest. Nice. Some Fu there. He kind of looks like he's got Super Saiyan 2 <laughs> hair there. Super Fu. Super Fu. <laughs> Heinous Commander. Draw one card. Look up to five cards. Okay, so you look for a Cumber. Okay. From your Z deck and face up. Okay, blah, blah, blah. If your opponent's turn, choose up to one of your black Cumber cards in rest mode. Ah, and switch the target. Ooh, so you can sacrifice one of your Cumber cards. I mean, Fu is the master, right, as part of this deck. Or, I mean, just in general in the series. So, Cumber's just pretty much a servant, right? A slave. So, yeah. 
Looking forward to that. I'm not going to be building that deck, though. Uh, but, th yeah, this I'm definitely going to be building. So looking forward to this. Vegito. Oh, some more SPRs there. Some beautiful SPRs. Loving that Cumber. And another one there of Goku and Gohan, or Grandpa Gohan. That's beautiful. Super Fu Assault Dominator. That is an absolute banger as well. Okay, so those are the real cards now shown. Now moving on to the secret rare. The second secret rare, we got the Great Ape Cumber Golden Wickedness Amplified. So this is another somewhat okay secret rare. There's a lot of controversy around his art. I'm not going to say the word, but just say, you know, you can see the arrow there. His art's pretty interesting, but hey, it is what it is. If this card is in rest mode, you don't take any damage, though. It's pretty easy to remove a secret rare, so I don't see why they included that unless it just adds a purpose to the, you know, the deck, maybe. If this card would be removed from a battle area by an opponent's skill, you may add one card from your life to your hand once per turn. Ooh. Once per turn instead. Oh, okay. So you can do that instead. Wow. Interesting. Okay. If your life is at three or less, you remove two cards in your Z deck from the game. Add the top card of your deck to your life. If a leader is black and your life is at four or less, play this card in rest mode from your hand or from your Z deck face up. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Ooh, here we go. Janempa. Janempa is another interesting one that people are pretty hyped about. I'm pretty hyped about too, to be honest. They get, he gets two Z extra cards? Oh, wow. Or is this the same card? Oh, no. The two different cards. Nice. Barrier round check in station. So, yeah, this is all from the movie, right? It makes sense, right? Fusion Reborn. It's all part of the Goku, you know, Janempa, Vegeta, Gogeta. You know how it is, right? Pretty standard. Oh, some Beerus stuff now. We got Whis. So, I think this is for the Whis leader. I think from Realm of the Gods. Is it Realm of the Gods? I can't remember, but doesn't matter really. But, yeah, Janempa is an... Oh, here it is. Here it is. This is the one I've been hyped about so much. This is going to be, I think, one or one of my more competitive decks I would be building. Negate the energy exhaust skill of all skill of your blue... So pretty much all of your blue-yellow multicolor Saiyan cards in all areas. That's very handy. Very, very handy. Because energy exhaust essentially means that because the idea of playing a multicolored card is pretty strong, you know? So when they say energy exhaust, you have to play it in rest mode. So you're not able to play it on the turn that you play it on. But because of this, it negates the energy exhaust. I can play the card in active mode and not have to worry about it being in rest mode. So I can utilize it straight away and, you know, attack uh, an opponent's leader, for example. So that's definitely a great addition. When your life is at five or less, draw two cards and you can't place cards in your energy area by your skills for the game. Wow. Okay. 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 Interesting. So you can't, you can't add any more energy. Okay. Negate the energy exhaust. Okay, we already know that. When this card attacks, draw one card, then up to one card from your life to your hand. Then add up to. Oh, okay, if you decide to. Okay, draw one card, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. Oh, okay, you get to also remove a card. That's good. Um, okay, so this is all the support cards. Deflect, double strike, 25k, Super Saiyan 3, Sun, Goku. Very nice. So it costs two to play, though. But it has deflect, which is very good. And it has the energy exhaust negated, remember? So that's... Pretty decent. So we got Critical there, or Vegeta. Ooh, that's nice. We got another set of just random combo cards and just support cards. Ooh, this is a banger Z Awakened card in my honest opinion. When your life is at three or less, blue ca so you can pretty much Z Awaken by just, I think you remove, when your life is at three or less, blue card with both G Son Goku and Vegeta. Okay. Um, when your blue yellow multicolor Gogeta card is played by Union Skill, draw one card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, place it at the bottom of its owner's deck. Ooh, that's decent, decent. When this card attacks, draw one card. Once per turn, if it's your turn, you have Gogeta or Veku, both with an Aegis skill in play. You send one blue and one yellow card from your drop to your warp, so you don't have to do it from your hand, which is very, that's very beautiful. That's pretty strong. And then switch two of your energy to active mode, and you can only play yellow battle cards for the turn. Oh, so utilizing quite a bit of yellow there. It's an interesting one. It's a very interesting one because it's a, it's a blue leader, but a lot of yellow cards are being utilized in this deck. There's Veku there. Very nice. Double Strike, Deflect, Energy, Exhaust. Wow, that's a monster of a card right there. The SPR is fire, absolutely. This is a disgusting Z extra card. This card is so strong, in my honest opinion. If your leader is blue with Son Goku and Vegeta or a blue Gogeta Z leader, you can activate your Aegis skill by sending one yellow card and one blue card from your drop to your warp. 
So I can use it from, I can take, I can discard cards from my drop instead of using it from my hand. So I don't lose cards in hand. And if you have five or more energy and I have a blue Gogeta Z leader, this card, if I remove it from the game, oh my god, the attacking card gets plus 30,000 power and triple strike. For those of you who play the game, you know that this is pretty strong. Very, very strong. <laughs> very, very strong. <laughs> Extremely strong, in my honest opinion. Uh, got some more Janempa there, but damn, that is a boss-looking special rare there of Gogeta. Got Janempa. Got, ooh, we got Goku as well. Loving that. Definitely going to be getting a place out of that. And obviously, those are the live cards. There is it. There he is. There is the beautiful... This is the card. This is the secret that we have to pull, no matter what. I'm hoping we can pull it out of the booster boxes I've bought. I've bought around six. I will be purchasing two extras at pre-release, so we're going to see how that goes. But it has to be pulled. If it's the God Rare as well, oh my gosh. That's just an added bonus. Can Shenron bless us? We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out in time. Okay, so we got uh, some promo cards now. So these are all support cards you get as part of playing at your local store you pretty much open up these packs and you get them i think you get one card per pack so you could add these to your decks if you would like to somewhat some of them are pretty decent uh i definitely do want the android 18 that's a very great way to try and find uh, extra cards in your deck and uh, i think even yeah even this to be honest this is also decent to have uh, i'm not sure about this maybe this actually yeah Getting this and that Goku. Where's that Goku? Yeah, and that as well. Yeah, so those will be the main ones I would like to get. But we'll have to wait and see. There's Pan. Some more support cards there. Oh, Fortune Teller Baba. Ooh, okay. We got uh, Unison. Okay, we got uh, Appa and Bora, father, father and son of peace. And then, ooh, Son Goku Jr., the newest in the lineage. This is from the older leader. I assume, yeah, this is a pretty, uh, oh, wow, I, I've, I've never, I mean, I've never played the deck, I've never seen it, I think, but I've heard of it, but yeah, that's a, oh, it's a buzzy-ass card, wow, Son Goku the Legendary Warrior, oh, okay, is that a unison? It is a unison, okay, with two markers, oh, wow, so we're kind of, Bandai kind of going back to using unisons, I guess, Hatchiac Doctor Lychee's greatest creation. So this is a very nice black card to have. It's somewhat of a floodgate. Um, you remove this card from the game when an opponent battle card attacks. You negate the attack, and your opponent can't attack with battle cards with an energy cost of six or more for the turn. So this is somewhat of a floodgate. It really helps black a lot. I don't really play black as much, but when I do, this card will definitely be utilized quite a bit because it's very nice because it's got barrier as well. It's unique. So yeah, it's a, it's a great safe haven, I would say for black and then oh my gosh there he is super saiyan gogeta fusion reborn the god rare that we've all been waiting for that i assume people thought would be gohan <laughs> but hey loving it this is by far the best looking god rare from my personal opinion now a lot of people have mixed feelings that you know oh the rainbow kills it or he looks too pale but in the movie he was pretty pale anyway so i don't see what the big deal is that is pretty much just depicted from the movie itself. That's how he stood against Janempa when he, when I guess Goku and Vegeta first fused. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Can't complain. And then here we are at the beginning. Wow. So looking forward to this, guys. So looking forward to it. Next week will pretty much be pre-release. So Friday I'll be opening up two booster boxes and I'll try and showcase to you what I've pulled. But essentially the week after that, that is when the official release of uh critical blow will be out and i'm so looking forward to that everyone well there you go everyone that pretty much wraps up another video for you all i really hope you all have enjoyed this if you have please give this a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel as you can see there above my goodness me critical blow is another hype set and definitely some cards that are worth collecting if you are a collector and of course playing if you are building any decks wow 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 Looking forward to it, guys. Let me know what you guys are all after, you know, as a collector, as a player. There's definitely a lot to look forward to. Can't wait, can't wait. But anyway, everyone, thank you again so much for watching. Have a great day, evening, and night. I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Peace.